Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to plant carrots in containers. Now my soil is pretty heavy clay, so sometimes when I plant carrots, unless I really develop a good six, eight inches of uh, looser soil, you know, they get all twisted. Growing in containers is a great way to grow carrots because you can put in really loose potting mix, make your own, and the carrots are going to do really well. Today's August 30th. These had potatoes in there that I pulled out, and I'm just going to show you how quickly it is how quickly it is to easily plant carrots. Now I got to get rid of the sweet potato vines. Let's get them out of the way. I'm going to do the seven inch carrots in a bag this tall or a container this tall. You can grow just about any kind of carrot and it'll get a nice long tap root. So to freshen up the soil, I'm going to use, as I always say, any granular type fertilizer. This is actually holly food for the holly tree, and it was on sale. It's a 433 NPK, any organic granular fertilizer that's around a 555 NPK, up or down a few numbers. Again, this is a 433, is perfectly suited for growing most of your vegetables. So that was three handfuls. I'm gonna put in a fourth handful, and I'm gonna mix in the soil or the granular fertilizer to the top several inches. Set up the bag again, just freshen everything up. All I'm gonna do is put a bunch of finger holes in here, and that's what I talk about in my book, Modern Homestead Gardening. I just kinda make these finger holes, and we're gonna do them every about two inches, maybe one inch apart, about half an inch deep. And it's just gonna look something like that, and we're gonna put in one carrot seed I'll show you how to do that. So here are the carrot seeds. They're really small. You want to put in at least two into each hole. You're going to thin them to one carrot per hole when they're about this tall. I'm going to also put in some water-soluble fertilizer, fish emulsion, in about a week or two weeks. They don't need any water-soluble fertilizer right now. Water-soluble fertilizer is fast-acting, so when they're starting to grow and they're out of the ground, they've germinated, that nitrogen will be used immediately. It will help the carrots grow. The granular fertilizer is slow release. It slowly breaks down over time and it will feed the carrot over time. So two or three seeds per hole. I counted. There are 77 carrots in this space. This is a 100 gallon root pouch that I sell at my seed shop, but any container works. And if you look here, that's about three fingers. That one's about two fingers. You know, an inch or two two and a half inches, it really doesn't matter. You just want to space it out. The carrots have plenty of space to grow straight down. This is a mix that I made with peat moss, my earth soil. Um, it's nice and loose. You could use potting mix. Any combination of soils that is just really easy and loose for the carrots to grow into. And then you're just going to cover them over. The holes again, we're about a half an inch deep. You don't have to worry about it being exactly a quarter inch or a half an inch. The soil's loose enough that the carrots are going to come through. The most important thing, because it's the 30th of August, it's 95 degrees right now, the heat is still here. So it's going to bake this uh, container, really, and the top is going to dry out really quickly. So you probably want to water this every day and just keep the seeds soaked, and then when they germinate, keep the seedlings soaked for a good seven days to 14 days until they're well established and their roots get down into the deeper part of the container where they can access water. It's all going to depend on really where your garden is, and I'm just going to soak it in just like that. Now carrots can be ready anywhere from 60 to 75 days after germination. When you're growing from the summer into the fall, these are going to germinate really quickly, establish, and you can have a fall crop of carrots. Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And again, don't forget to really keep the top of the soil moist for a good 7, 10, 14 days.